We all have habits, some good and some not so great, that shape our everyday lives. Good habits contribute positively to our well-being, while the not so good ones can sneak into our routines and affect our overall health and happiness. To break free from their hold, it's essential to understand how bad habits develop. In this exploration, we'll look into the stages of forming bad habits based on solid research. We'll shine a light on how these habits start, grow, and most importantly, how they can be overcome. Stage 1. Triggering the Habit Loop The journey of a bad habit usually kicks off with a trigger, a specific cue or situation that gets the habit going. Triggers can come from inside, like feeling stressed, bored, or dealing with negative emotions. They can also be external, like certain environments or social settings. Research shows that habits often develop as a response to these triggers, creating a loop that strengthens the behavior over time. For example, stress at work might trigger the habit of mindless snacking, providing a temporary escape from the pressures of the day. The brain associates the relief of stress with the act of snacking, creating a neural connection that strengthens with repetition. Stage 2. Routine. Cementing the behavior. Once the trigger sets the habit in motion, the routine follows suit. This is the stage where the actual behavior occurs as a response to the trigger, whether it's reaching for a sugary snack, lighting up a cigarette, or procrastinating instead of working on a task, the routine becomes ingrained through repetition. Research in habit formation emphasizes the role of consistency in this stage. The more consistently the routine is performed in response to the trigger, the stronger the neural pathways become. The brain begins to associate the trigger with the specific behavior, making it increasingly automatic and difficult to resist. Stage 3. Reward. Reinforcing the habit loop. The reward stage is the linchpin of the habit loop. It's the instant gratification or positive outcome that follows the completion of the routine. This reward reinforces the habit loop, signaling to the brain that the behavior is beneficial or pleasurable, even if only temporarily. In the case of smoking, the routine might be the act of lighting up a cigarette in response to stress, trigger, and the reward is the immediate sense of relaxation or distraction. Over time, the brain comes to anticipate and crave this reward, further solidifying the habit loop. Understanding the role of rewards is crucial for unraveling bad habits. Research suggests that habits are more likely to persist when the rewards are immediate and satisfying. Long-term negative consequences may not be enough to deter the habit if the immediate reward is powerful enough. Stage 4. Craving. The silent driver. Craving is the silent force that underlies the habit loop. It emerges as a result of the reward and becomes a powerful motivator, driving individuals to seek out the behavior even in the absence of the initial trigger. Cravings can be both physical and psychological, creating a sense of urgency or desire for the habit. In the context of habitual snacking, for example, the craving might manifest as an intense desire for the taste and pleasure associated with the chosen snack. This craving can strike at any time, not just when stress triggers the habit loop. The more intense the craving, the harder it becomes to resist the habit. Stage 5. Identifying Triggers and Cravings Key to Intervention Breaking free from the grip of a bad habit requires a deep understanding of the triggers and cravings associated with the behavior. Identifying the specific circumstances, emotions, or environmental cues that trigger the habit is a crucial step in interrupting the habit loop. Moreover, recognizing the cravings that drive the behavior provides insight into the underlying motivations. Are you seeking comfort, stress relief, or distraction? Understanding the root cause of the craving enables individuals to find healthier alternatives or coping mechanisms to address the same needs. Stage 6. Intervening and Substituting. Rewiring the Brain. Armed with the knowledge of triggers and cravings, the next step is intervention. This involves consciously substituting the routine with a healthier alternative while preserving the reward. For instance, if stress triggers the habit of snacking, finding alternative stress relief activities like deep breathing, meditation, or a short walk can disrupt the habit loop. Research suggests that successfully breaking a habit involves not just suppressing the unwanted behavior but replacing it with a positive one. The brain is more amenable to change when provided with an alternative that fulfills the same underlying need or desire. Stage 7. Persistence and Patience. Building New Pathways. 
Breaking a bad habit is a gradual process that requires persistence and patience. As interventions are implemented, the brain begins to form new neural pathways, gradually weakening the old connections associated with the habit loop. Research indicates that it takes an average of 66 days for a new behavior to become automatic and replace an old habit. During this period, setbacks are normal. Relapses may occur, especially during times of heightened stress or emotional turmoil. However, viewing setbacks as opportunities for learning rather than failures is crucial. Each effort to resist the old habit and reinforce the new behavior contributes to the rewiring of the brain. Understanding the life cycle of bad habits from triggers to transformation provides a roadmap for individuals seeking positive change. Recognizing the interplay between triggers, routines, rewards, cravings, and interventions is essential for breaking free from the grip of detrimental behaviors. Research-driven insights emphasize the importance of consistency, self-awareness, and perseverance in the journey to overcome bad habits. By identifying triggers, understanding cravings, and intervening with positive alternatives, individuals can rewire their brains and cultivate healthier, more fulfilling habits. In the end, breaking free from the life cycle of bad habits is a transformative process that not only reshapes behaviors, but also empowers individuals to take control of their lives and well-being. Breaking free from bad habits is not a momentary decision, but a transformative journey where each choice shapes the life we desire. Want to deep dive into any of these? Leave a comment below and let me know. As always, like this video if you enjoyed it, subscribe for more awesome content, 